Diagnosis of the cranial dorsal hip luxation can be done by palpation. Place your finger between the greater trochanter and tuber ischium. Greater trochanter there, tuber ischium there. Right in between, there's a groove. If you internally and externally rotated the femur while the hip is luxated, the greater trochanter should not come under your finger. In order to reduce a cranially dorsally luxated hip, it is best to have an assistant creating counter pressure for you. I like to externally rotate the stifle so that the head of the femur can clear the cranial acetabular rim as I am pulling caudally and ventrally. So I'm going to pull the femur caudal and ventral with a slight external rotation on the stifle. And then I'm going to internally rotate the stifle with my finger. There we go. On the greater trochanter, I kind of help guide it into the acetabulum. Once I feel it pop into place, I make sure the motion is smooth. Now let's look at the reduction using bone models. Externally rotate the stifle to bring the femoral head up allowing it to clear the cranial acetabular rim when you are pulling caudally and ventrally. In the smaller patients, I put my finger on the head of the femur and help to push it back into the acetabulum as I am pulling back and ventrally, caudally and ventrally on the femur. This helps actually push the head back into the acetabulum. Let's have another look at it in the cat. Externally rotate the stifle so the head clears the rim, pulling on the femur ventrally and caudally. At the same time, I'll put my finger in front of the femoral head to push it into the acetabulum. Place the hip through a full range of motion while applying downward pressure on the greater trochanter. This will help extrude any soft tissues that might still be located in the acetabulum. Now retest the hip by placing the finger between the tuber ischium and the greater trochanter in the groove and internally and externally rotate that femur. Note how the greater trochanter pushes my finger out of the groove when I externally rotate. That means the hip is in position. Because I never place a cat in an emer sling, at the end I will put the hip through a full range of motion just gently palpating to make sure I don't feel anything pop out of place. If the hip pops out of place on this range of motion, I recommend a femoral head ostectomy.